Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Mai and today's video is this fully functioning farm with a humble little farmhouse, a horse ranch, a barn, and a little area in the back for cows, chickens, goats, sheep, and of course um, a garden uh, where yeah you can grow all of your fruits and vegetables, flowers, whatever your heart desires. And we are building here in Chestnut Ridge, I think it's called, which is the world from Horse Ranch on a 50 by 50 lot. And I think it's at like the very, very top uh, part of the world. And yeah, I just decided to build this really, really cute farm here. And my inspiration for this lot um, was that I was feeling just a little bit nostalgic. And um, I have a family farm in Argentina because that's where I'm from. And I just, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to build something that reminded me of it. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I just didn't really know how because obviously I can't make a perfect replica um, of the family farm, but I just wanted to take some elements from it um, and just get inspired by it, build something that, I don't know, just, just felt a little bit like home. And over here we are sectioning off each area where I want to have kind of every part of the farm um so over here we're working on the horse area and just creating this little shelter for them um where i'm gonna put like the horse beds and their food their water um just so that they're protected from the elements a little bit and at this point it was feeling um a little bit chunky so um i do end up downsizing it a little bit and it looks way better um but yeah, uh, I think I, I put in, yeah, I put in two horse beds, so you'll have room for those. Of course, if you want to add more, um, you can just expand it kind of in, in this way. And um, although I feel like having more than, than two horses is a little bit much in The Sims. I've tried and it just gets kind of overwhelming, a little bit boring even. Um, I don't know, they're just so chunky and you just gotta, there's so much you gotta do with them. Um, but yeah, over here is where I'm putting in the section with the chickens and um, the like cow shed that you can get from Cottage Living. And um, this is also where I imagine you would place like the mini sheep and the goats um, that you can get in Horse Ranch or from the Horse Ranch expansion pack. And yeah, so I think this lot would be really great for like the simple living lot trait um, because you can literally have everything you could possibly need here. And I think it would, it would be really fun. I really want to play on this lot. Um, I think that just the style of the farmhouse creates um, or like paves the way for a really fun storyline. And I mean, you'll see more. But yeah, we're over here working on the terrain editing and usually I don't include the terrain editing in my videos. I usually like do it first off camera and then like start filming once that's done. But for some reason this time I just, I don't know, I wanted to keep it in and maybe show you guys a little bit of like why I usually keep it out because it's so tedious and I'm such a perfectionist so I, I obsess so much over these like little sections and trying to smooth them out and I don't know it was being a little bit glitchy I think I might have made the pond a little bit too deep so um yeah it was just like totally glitching out and it looked really weird and choppy and I hated it and it's like I wanted to make sure each like pixel was in the right place but this is the sims and so it was a little bit hard um just landscaping in general was a little bit difficult for this because like you're out in the desert so I wasn't really sure what to place um but i did find some like dead trees in the debug menu that looked really good and um over here the farmhouse we're starting off right now with a wood but i end up changing it into uh, like a stucco kind of texture and i think it looks way better that's kind of what the farmhouse that's on my family farm looks like and um yeah it's really cute and i do end up making the barn wood for the duration of the video but when i was doing like my last little like post-production things that I like to do I realized how much better it would look if it was metal so I do change that and that is what you see like at the at the beginning of the video in that little clip that I add and uh yeah it just it looks way better and we are starting off with the farmhouse here just placing some base game windows and instead of a front door I place an arch from horse ranch 
which might seem a little bit crazy, um, but the farmhouse that I remember from back home, um, it has just like this open archway into the home and um, I, I don't know, I just thought it would be like a really cool attribute to add to this house. I think that, I don't know, it makes it a little bit more realistic, a little bit different, and um, I don't know, it just looks really cool. I, I just really like the natural light that comes in through it as well. Um, I don't know, it just, it felt right. So um, over here on like the little porch, I'm adding like a dining table. I really wasn't sure which one to use and I end up picking one from the like campers, little campers kit, um, which is weird because I, I don't think I use that very often and I, I place the chairs from the same kit as well as one of those plastic chairs from the for rent pack because that also felt right and I use kind of like the matching stool um, from for rent to act as like a little side table next to the rocking chair. And I also put in a laundry area over to the side, which I thought looked really cool. And um, here in the interior, um, I have, it's kind of like a studio and it also has its own bathroom, which is great. And the bed also wasn't something that I like easily figured out. It felt like every bed was either too much or too little, um, but I ended up settling on this one, which is from the Horse Ranch pack, and it looks great. I really, really love the colors um, and the patterns on it. It just looked amazing. And here, this kitchen, I, I love how it turned out. Um, you know, the appliances are a little bit like rusty and dated. I mean, they're right next to that big open arch, so I imagine that they're very exposed to nature and the rain and the cold and everything, so probably not in the best condition but um, I thought they looked really cool, and I also really like the shelving that I put on here. Um, later in post-production, I also add a whole bunch of clutter, and I really like these little like milk, um, I don't know what they're called, milk cans. Um, they just looked great in here. They were so, so perfect. So I do end up placing it um, not just in the kitchen or like in the house, but um, I also place a lot in the barn um, because of course, and um yeah i just i use a lot of horse ranch in here obviously although the appliances i think are from city living so um yeah because they were like the the like very dirty kind of broken kind um but the base game does have ones that are very similar that you can replace with if you don't have city living and we are getting it to probably my favorite part of this house which is preparing the barbecue area because we did get these grills from Horse Ranch and I think they're great. Um, I really like the style of them. But in Argentina, we have these very large brick uh, barbecues. And I, I guess I call them barbecues. I don't really, I, they don't feel like barbecues to me. But anyways, they are entirely made of brick. So obviously not the same here, but um, I just thought it would be really cool to kind of make a makeshift kind of Sims-like version of it. And um, later on in post-production, I add more details to it that make it look more alike, um, add some chimneys and stuff. You'll see it in the screenshots and you probably saw a little bit in the clip, but um, yeah, it's just really fun to do that. And um, we have moved forward. Uh, my friend told me that something that I tend to do in these videos is that I talk about something and then the video moves on and I'm left talking about that thing. But um, over here, I'm just looking through the debug menu. I was trying to find like a car to add and I found that one, which I think it's a debug item from Horse Ranch. Um, we are now over here in the barn again. The video moves on without me. But um, anyways, yeah, I used a lot of debug items and I think they all look great. I was really trying to find a tractor and I couldn't find one. Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. Um, I don't know if there is one, but um, Either way, I do like the car that I chose. This is where I'm looking, like actively looking for the tractor and just can't find it and give up pretty quick. But I do find this water tower and I love this water tower. It fit in so perfectly and added so much dimension to just like the skyline of this build. And um, I don't know, it's just the personality that it added to this whole thing. It also reminds me so much of the water tower from the farm back home. Um, my family watching this will will appreciate that and um, we're moving back into the farmhouse I kind of let my my distractions kind of run the show there but um, yeah back in the farmhouse working on this kind of living room area I am starting off with these two love seats from base game and uh, just a horse ranch end table 
but I do end up changing one of those love seats later and um, over here just finding like a wardrobe to add which I use one from Horse Ranch. I really love the fireplaces um, that I've put around as well. They look so lovely. They're so perfect. I think um, they're probably one of my favorite furniture pieces that we got with Horse Ranch. They're amazing. They're I, I want to use them in every single build and um, I also really like this door that I used at the back. Um, it's just another base game one, but I never really get a chance to use it. It doesn't fit in with um, most of the styles of builds that I do, but um, it looked really great here. It had that kind of like rustic handmade look, which I very much appreciated. And while we are in the farmhouse, I might as well just tell you kind of the person that I imagine living here. I imagine them as like an elderly sim that's just been living off this land for a really long time, um, just focusing on, I don't know, just that simple life, simple living. Um, they just really love what they get to do and they don't really need much time for anything else. Um, I wasn't sure if they had like a family. I do end up placing like some children's drawings around, um, but I don't know if that's like their grandkids, if that's their like grand nibblings, um, like grand nieces and nephews or something. like their um, nieces and nephews kids but um, I don't know or maybe just like neighbor kids that really like them and get along and give them pictures but um, I don't know I just I don't see them as someone who has a lot of free time I think they just spend their time working the land and um, I don't know just pretty much that's it uh, but we are working on the bathroom I really struggled picking out the right um, plumbing pieces it feels weird calling them appliances but I do figure out in the end and uh, later on in post-production, I also add a rug and a little bit of clutter. And with these curtains, I use the curtains from Cats and Dogs. And over here, I'm like raising them up all to the same height. And I was going to just fidget with them afterwards, but then they reset. So I had to just go back and do everything over again. Um, but it's fine because they look really great. And I also place them above the archway, not door and um yeah your sims can walk through that it works perfectly i tried to find a door that would work better so that you don't have so many trespassers but i couldn't the archway just looks too good but over here uh, i am trying to figure out what other hobbies they might have so i do pick that guitar from horse ranch and um yeah just figure that by the time they're done watering and weeding and milking and I don't know, cleaning everything. Um, they probably don't have too much time for hobbies, but I do place um, a woodworking table in the barn later. And um, I really like this bench that I paired with the base game love seat. I think that they look really nice. And I also use a rug from Werewolves, which is it's like a, a little bit of like a dated dusty rug, which I thought was perfect. And I also use uh, another armchair from horse ranch and over here I put in a little indoor dining table so if it's raining you can um, or cold you can just come inside and I love that like drying rack from Home Chef Hustle that I put above the sink I thought it might look too modern but it ended up looking great um, the black swatch just worked perfectly there and yeah just cluttering up the kitchen a little bit or starting to and uh, under the bed here I, I pick another rug I think I end up going with one from I think it's Get Famous. Uh, yeah, this one from Get Famous and just size it down so it fits a little bit nicer and um, add a little bit of a TV because maybe you want to watch TV here. And I was going to put a full length mirror, but I don't because I didn't think that the person living here cared too much um, to look at themselves in a full length mirror. And I do also add a couple of these bookshelves from Basement Treasures around. I think they're called like the unstable shelves. They just looked like very handmade um, and they looked great. I loved it. And this is where I add like the children's drawings and um, I also put in, um, I think, yeah, just a couple of paintings. It was a little hard to find ones that fit the style, but um, in the end I find it. And over here is where I'm trying to figure out where I want to put like the garden patches. Um, I don't know what you would call it, just, yeah, let's call them, let's just, we'll keep it at garden patches. Um, but. I don't know, they, they look they look great. I just used the ones from Cottage Living and I was gonna fence it in, but I just felt like there were too many fences. I didn't wanna keep fencing things in. So hopefully nobody comes in to steal any like produce or harvestables, but um, yeah, it just looked, it looked a little bit better that way. And this is where I, I consider 
like fencing the entire thing off so that nobody gets in, but it just didn't look right. So, oh yeah, and also remembering ceiling paint, which I usually forget ceiling paint, so I'm really glad that I remembered it this time. And um, yeah, I think we're starting off just furnishing a little bit of the barn now. And I was just looking through like everything that Horse Ranch has to offer. Um, I do put in the nectar making machine and I also put in a lot of nectar storage, which obviously you're not gonna have all of these like totally full because they hold a lot of nectar bottles and you just don't need that many. But um, I don't know, the storage just, it looked nice up here. And I know that like in real life, you can't actually store bottles of wine um, like in such bright and I think humid areas, you need it to be a little bit, I don't know, drier and I don't know, there's all these specifications, but um, in The Sims, it looks fine. Who cares about logic? This isn't, it's not real life. And thankfully so, because um, it's not often that you get to do things purely for the aesthetic. Um, and we are adding just like wall lanterns around. I think they're also from Horse Ranch, just to kind of provide a little bit of lighting. And I do really love like all the debug things that I find, those like metal canisters, metal bins. Um, I don't know, they just look great and add a lot of personality. And uh, up here I use, I think they're werewolf curtains uh, to just cover up all that light that gets up there, just that it doesn't get too dusty. And um, also using a lot of these like hay rugs um, look amazing. And the hay bales that I use, um, I don't know why I said it so weird, but the hay bales that I use are actually seats. Um, so I don't know, they just looked cool. And also adding a lot of the nectar barrels because of course, um, obviously you're gonna have nectar barrels in here. And uh, I just get so lost inside that debug menu. I um, I need to update my like better build by mod. I, I haven't updated it recently. So my like, uh, I don't know what it is, just the menu is a mess. So um, bear with me. But yeah, just placing a lot of these buckets around, a couple of different buckets. One of them is from Cottage Living and another one is just from the debug menu. They both fit in great, they both look great, and uh, I think also add a little bit more diversity, dimension. Um, yeah, they just look fantastic. And yeah, just adding a little bit more of that nectar clutter up here. I do really like the, like the variety of nectar clutter that we got with Horse Ranch. Um, it all looks it all looks great and um, over here in this horse area that I've just slowly been furnishing little by little um, not in one go over here is where we have the horse beds and right now the beds are off center but I, I changed that later I only noticed it when it, or I noticed it when I was editing so um, I went back and I changed it fixed it and uh, I just have like one water trough and two regular feeders and for like the horse activities I only have the the barrels that you run around um, but around the world you'll find like the jumping ones and, and all that other fun stuff. And uh, this is the shed that you get, the animal shed from Cottage Living, um, where you can get either a llama or a cow. I bought a cow because um, then you can have milk. So yeah, but you can also, I guess, get that I think from the mini sheep or the mini goats actually. So um, yeah, you'll have everything you need. I think it would be so fun to like have the simple living lot trait and live here. I fully, I want to go full on hermit and live in a place like this. I think it would just be, it would be fun, but I do need more bookshelves um, personally. And we are back uh, in this pond area trying to, you know, fix all those little pixels that were slightly out of place. Um, I don't know why the smoothing tool wasn't really working as well as it usually does, um, at least I don't know, personally for me, maybe it is because I made it a little bit too deep, but um, yeah, I also use this like the water type, I think it's called just like leafy water. Um, I thought it was really cute. I can just imagine like my uncle fishing over there. Um, in, in our family farm, we have like a stream running through it and um, yeah, it's, I don't think it's like a perfect place to fish, but to pass the time uh, fishing, it is, it is great. And I wish you could sit down while you fish in The Sims because I did put some stools around because I thought it was really cute and I don't know, felt a little bit realistic. Um, but I do love all of the kind of terrain like uh, painting and uh, these rocks that I add around. So these are like debug rocks that I think are from like Horse Ranch, that they come with Horse Ranch. And uh, yeah, I just added them around the pond and it made it look super realistic and uh, way more like part of the actual world. Uh, not to quote The Little Mermaid, but um, yeah, I also add some reeds around um, and the pond just ends up looking super cute and 
don't know, super real. I just like want to dip my toes in. I think it would be really fun um, to go fishing there. And uh, yeah, adding some more terrain paint around. I don't think you can ever have too much, especially when you're making a farm. It just adds like that much more dimension. Um, it just looks so great. And I, I think even after, like in post-production, I end up adding more and more and more and more because uh, yeah, it just, it really, it elevates your builds uh, in a way that I never thought would be possible. Um, but yeah, just really laying it on thick. And uh, these grasses I think are also horse ranch um, from the debug menu. And uh, yeah, just adding those around a lot. I think I put them practically everywhere, like just freckle it on um, around the property and um, yeah, sizing them like up down to try and also create a little bit more dimension, a little bit more shape. And uh, I also place some more rocks, um, not those ones from Horse Ranch, but just the base game ones in this kind of like pinky brown color. Um, I also just place those inside the grasses and uh, just around because that also just adds so much and um, it just ended up looking really really great i i think I'm, I'm getting better at my landscaping i feel like with every build landscaping is no longer like a chore for me it's actually something that i'm enjoying doing which i was not expecting i mean i've been playing sims since the sims 1 came out i've been building and i don't know it just only recently have i actually started to enjoy landscaping so I'm really proud of that. And uh, here on the side of the house, I add some more planters that I think come from uh, the outdoor retreat game pack. And uh, over there, I end up planting some flowers because I do plant uh, flowers and, and like all the vegetables and fruits that I thought would fit in great uh, on this farm. I, I plant them before I added it to the gallery. So if you download this build, which you can find on the gallery under my name, um, you'll find all those things. And uh, here is the final build. Uh, we are in the screenshots and just a couple of photos or pictures, screenshots of overlooking like the entire lot, um, all of the different sections. I think it looks so, so great. I'm so glad that it turned out this well. I think that when I was actually building, oh, you can see the cow that I got for the screenshots. But when I was building, I just, uh, I didn't realize that I was done because I was having so much fun doing this. And uh, there you can see all the extra little details that I added in post-production, more grass, of course, and uh, also some awnings, uh, some ceiling lights as well, and some chimneys because um, with the amount of fireplaces that you have, there is like the, the big barbecue chimney that I added. Um, it just looks fantastic. And here's the kitchen with a little bit of extra clutter around. Um, and a trash can. I remember to add a trash can. I feel like I don't remember that element very often, but thankfully I did in this one. And uh, here you just have the seats, the, the living room. I added the uh, keepsake box as well, so maybe they'll be able to give that to somebody that they care about. And uh, there you have all of the children's drawings that I had mentioned before. It was quite painful to try and find all of them, but um, yeah, it just looks great. And I really like that base game painting that I added as well, um, or drawing. Um, maybe it was the person that lives here when they were younger. And uh, here's the bathroom. There's the rug that I briefly mentioned before. And um, yeah, just some clutter, the toothbrush, the toilet paper, things like that. And uh, this is the metal barn now. Um, we are going to get a closer look. There are all the plants that I said that I planted, um, so I wasn't lying. And uh, I also added more of a, I also added an outdoor trash can. Um, but yeah, this is the barn, the final look. I think I added just like more hay bales and uh, more hay rugs and the woodworking table so that you can, I don't know, keep building things for the farm. Um, I just think it looks really, really cute. Low ceilings, but um, still cute. And the, uh, the nectar attic, uh, we can call it, um, also turned out really nice. Very simple. I didn't add too much in post-production. There are all the plants. I made sure they were all blooming so that they looked nice in the screenshots. And here in the horse area, I was going to place a horse in here for the screenshots, but um, they weren't really cooperating, so I got them to move. And um, I really love this view of the water tower and the big rocks in the background, and the cow, of course. Uh, in this very simple area. I also got uh, like chickens and sheep and goats for the screenshots, but again, they weren't really cooperating and they just looked kind of weird. But um, these are our last few screenshots. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this build as much as I did. This is definitely one of my favorites. Very nostalgic. 
Bye buds and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos, comment and share with your friends. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.